hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to resolve when you are attempting to connect to the internet using the built-in windows utility it says windows did not detect any networking hardware let's fix it guys you just need to go to search menu and type cmd select run as administrator and select as now in the command prompt window you just need to type ip config space slash flash flus cache dns press enter windows ip configuration successfully flashed the dnr resolver cache now you just need to type nets cache space win socK space reset press enter successfully reset the windsor catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset you just need to close it off here and go ahead and restart your pc after restarting your PC, hopefully your issue has been resolved guys. If you are still having issue, then you just need to go to search menu and type troubleshoot. Click on open it. Select the other troubleshooters. And select the network and internet troubleshoot to run. And following the on screen instruction, hopefully this can able to resolve a problem. But if this doesn't help you, then you just need to go to system restore point. If you have any system restore point saved on your computer, then you just need to search for restore. Opens up create a restore point. If the protection is turned on, you just need to select it and select the system restore option. And then roll your computer back to recently created restore point and hopefully your issue has been resolved guys and final step we can try would be to reset our network settings back to default to do this you just need to go to search menu and type network reset click on open it this will remove then reinstall all your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as vpn client software or virtual switches select the reset now option and select yes and confirm it and it will require you to restart your pc after restarting your pc hopefully your issue has been resolved guys that's it for today's video guys give me a like and subscribe thank you